This crime story will include cannibalism, murder, and SA. I will put SA on the screen, that way you know what that is. If your butt is not over the age of 18, you have no business watching this. And I will give you time to click off and get them babies out the room. Also, if you don't want to miss out when I post a video, make sure you hit the notification bell. If you're a new a subscriber, say hello, drop it in the comment, and make sure you comment. I like responding to my YouTube family. This story is about Joseph Metheny, who was born night, I'm sorry, March the 2nd, 1973. It seems from the research that I did, he pretty much had a normal life. Unfortunately, his dad was an alcoholic and his father did pass away when he was six years old. So his mom and his dad, they had six children together. So at the time of his father's passing, his mom had to take on the responsibility providing for her children. So it was stated, and she did also agree to this, that she did work a lot of jobs and often. Now, Joseph's story is a little different than hers. He stated she was never home. She worked a lot. She was able to give her attention to her children and that she often put them off or kind of like had other people not foster care, but they just took care of the kids because she was so busy working. Now, his mom does not agree with that. She said they never, her children never went without anything. So it's conflicting stories, and I'm pretty sure the truth is somewhere in the middle, like all stories. So time passes, and Joseph Metheny ends up um, in the military. Now, all this information, from my understanding, is from like people interviewing him, and these were the things that he said. So he stated that while in the military, he had a, a, tour, a, a tour of duty in Vietnam. And so this is when he stated that he became addicted to heroin. Now, the they cannot find verified records that he even went to Vietnam. So I'm not sure if he did or if he didn't. We're just going to go with that. And that's the reason why he became addicted. Just like, you know, addicts, it seems as if, you know, whatever demons they have, they're trying to run from them. And that's why they end up um, doing drugs. So we're going to go with that. It doesn't matter why he was on drugs. Unfortunately, he just did. After his um, tour in Vietnam, he came home and they, he lived in Baltimore. So he ended up getting married and having a child. Unfortunately, his wife and himself were addicted to drugs and it was said to be cocaine and heroin is what they did. While being married, Joseph was working as a truck driver. And unfortunately, you know, some truck drivers are away from home um, a lot. So when his son was six years old, he reported to have come home and his wife and son were gone. And it is reported that she took everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything being so petty as to even take like the shower curtain. It's reported that she just cleared out the house. There was nothing left in the house. Now, this pissed Joseph off. I mean, you disappeared with his kid. No matter what, he loved his kid. It's apparent that he loved his kid, you know, and he did end up go going to look for them. Now, during that time that she had left and he was looking for them, he they did have a circle of friends who were also drug addicts and they had informed him that his wife was living with a man across town 
but the son had been put into the foster care system, which I'm not even sure how you could do that without his consent, but this is in the 1990s and of course things have changed. My I question also, if she was just living across town, why was it so hard to find her? But regardless, she was living across town with another man. He finds out that his son was in foster care and that also that the, she was, you know, selling herself to get, you know, additional money for drugs. But, you know, unfortunately, these things do happen. You know, it's not always hand in hand, but they do happen. Now, I want to also add to Joseph's nickname was Tiny. I'm not sure how they do it. And he was from, they're from Baltimore. But I'm not sure how they do it in Baltimore. But I know in the South, what we'll do is we do opposite. So if you're a big person, we'll call you tiny. If you're a small person, we'll call you big, like big Tony or something like that. But you're only 98 pounds soaking wet. Joseph was AKA tiny, but this was a big dude. He was six foot one, which is, you know, it's us. It's not, not too, too tall, but he was over 400 pounds. So he was a pretty, pretty big dude. Like if I saw him at night, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm about to run for real. I'm about to run, clutch the pearls and I'm about to go. So after um, talking with the other friends, they also informed him that his wife also, uh, often, um, you know, she often was like under a bridge or something. Maybe she just kind of just, I'm not sure. I believe they did drugs underneath this bridge there. So Joseph goes to look for her. She was, he was looking for both, both her and for the man that she was living with. I don't know what he had in mind to do. But it probably wasn't good. I'm pretty sure it wasn't good. While he was looking for them under the bridge, um, laying on a dirty mattress, there were two other drug addicts there. And their names were, were Randy and Randall. And Randall, excuse me, Randy and Randall. I say it funny, but Randy and Randall. So they were drug addicts. He questioning them regarding had he had they seen his wife or the man now i want to add also it doesn't excuse anything let me say that it doesn't excuse anything but it he stated that he was also on drugs at this time so i feel as if he was on a drug he was you know in a drug rage so at that time he questioned them he doesn't believe them that he hadn't seen her, they don't know him. Joseph ends up killing these two men with an axe. Yeah, he killed them. Yep. After he killed those two men, I think he just felt powerful. And at this time, I feel, feel as if he just, he had a taste for it. He had a taste to kill people. It is said that he ends up calling or kind of luring two prostitutes um, down. I can't remember where he was at, but he, two prostitutes. It ends up killing one lady and then ends up killing another lady. Now, while he was out there, there was a, we're killing the second lady. There was a fisherman out there minding his own business, fishing. I don't know if he saw Joseph, but I'm probably, probably pretty sure like he heard something and probably like made eye contact. Oh, damn. He's killing her. This is pretty much definition of wrong place, wrong time. Joseph ends up killing a prostitute picks up a steel, like a steel pipe, ends up killing the fisherman. Like, 
this man didn't do nothing to you. What 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 the hell is your damn problem? He ends up throwing the fisherman and the prostitute's body um, in a river. So I believe this night he ended up killing, what was it, five people? I mean, that's just, it's just absolutely freaking nuts. He ends up killing five people in one night within less than 10 hours. I almost feel too with him just killing these people so willy nilly. I feel because remember he was a truck driver. I feel like my opinion that this was not his first time killing someone. He just seemed to just it seemed to come natural to him to just kill people. So again, it's my opinion. I don't know, but it just feel as if this is not the first time. He had killed someone and you know, let me know in the comments what you think. So two weeks after killing the five people, he ends up getting arrested for um, like a suspicion of murder, I guess what it's called, for two people, which was um, Randy and Randall. Um, unfortunately, he got off clear. And the reason why he did get off is because, and this is just me thinking this out, and the research that I did was because the same acts that he had killed those two men with, Randall, Randy and Randall, another homeless guy had taken the weapon and had killed someone else. So I feel like, you know, maybe lack of evidence or something, I feel like that's the reason why he had got off. And you would think, like, you, you got away with these two murders, you would chill. Mm -mm. He didn't do that. He did not chill. In 1996, it is reported that Joseph ended up killing um, Kimberly Lynn Spicer. He killed her with a um, knife. I did forget to also mention that and I apologize. Um, his um, first victim out of when getting out of jail was Kathy Magaziner, and I hope I'm saying it right. He ended up. She was unfortunately was she wasn't a prostitute. He ended up luring her um, with you know money and I'm pretty sure drugs, and he ends up killing her. Um, at this time. Because he knew better. He decided to use some of the meat uh, and save some of the meat off her body for his little food stand that he had. So he mixed it up with that. He just thought that was perfect to do. And later he ends up killing um, Kimberly. Um, and did the same thing with her body. He ended up using some of the meat for his um, food stand. Now, he did ask, the reason why Joseph finally got caught, thank you goodness, because um, I'm not sure if he ever would have stopped on his own, was um, he asked a friend to help him, I guess, bury the rest of Kimberly's body. And he did eventually end up telling the police. He also abducted or allured another prostitute, prostitute, excuse me, by the name. So in December of 1996, he ends up doing the same thing, luring another prostitute, I believe she was a prostitute, um, to his home for sex, drugs, money, and he ends up, he was going to kill her. He ends up hitting her and he thought that she was out. She was fortunately not out. She ends up playing possum. As soon as he turns his back, she ends up escaping. And I, I'm so glad that she did end up escaping. She would have ended up like the other, 
the other women. Like, again, I go back to how big this guy was. Like, he was six foot one, over 400 pounds. And I'm pretty sure these women were not big women. Even me, I would have been, like, totally just afraid with him being six foot one and over 400 pounds. And shout out to Rita. I mean, man... You know, I hope that she's living a, a positive and great life and, and is really thankful that she um, did get away. I don't know if I would have had the strength, strength to, you know, pretty much play dead. I mean, that takes a lot of gusto for someone to, to do that. I want to go back to the sandwiches, too. He had like a food truck that was on his job location so he worked with you know we're pretty sure several men and people would come there you know for lunch or dinner or what have you and he would mix the human human flesh or muscle i don't know what it is with his pork sandwiches they were said to be really really good sandwiches he even made a comment that it tasted like pork so I'm 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 pretty much done for the rest of the week eating out. I um I'm I've been eating at home and cooking at home. So y'all have to let me know what y'all feel about that. Like it's absolutely freaking just disgusting. Like he's a filthy piece of crap, if you ask me. He was already a filthy piece of crap just to kill people and they're minding their own business and you take someone's life I have dare you do that how dare you thank goodness that Rita did get away because I believe she was able to testify and he did have charges on her or he did um face charges was convicted of charges for like kidnapping her in 1998 he was convicted for the death and the murder of Kimberly and he actually wanted to get the death penalty he did but it was later reduced to just life without the possibility of parole probably and he was also convicted to the murder of uh, kathy and he was same thing sentenced to um life without the possibility of parole so august the 5th 2017 he was found unresponsive responsive in his cell so i'll keep my the bad comments to myself but the things that i want to share are i'm glad i'm just glad I want to be careful with my words. You know, YouTube is funny. But I'm glad. I'm not sure. It just says I'm responsive. It doesn't say, like, he had a heart attack or a stroke. It says I'm responsive. To, to me, it's not like a hit. But what do I know? That's my opinion. It's not like a hit to me. I mean, you know, you're just unresponsive. That's the, that's, that was it. But then maybe... You know, the state was just like, we're not going to investigate, you know, this guy who's on, um, on in here forever. We're not going to investigate why he's died. He just did. That could be it also. You know, unfortunately, he wasn't able to suffer like his big victims or suffer in prison because he wanted to die. And so I feel like when you want to die, I'm like, yeah, give him, poss give him life without the possibility of parole. Again, that's my opinion because him just dying, I feel like sometimes it's kind of just taking the easy way and not facing what he did. So you guys, let me know what you think. He has, he said that he murdered 13 people. They can't say that he did. I don't know if he did, but I just feel like with him committing those murders back to back like he did, that he might have murdered 13 people and they just know, don't know. And we will never know if he did murder 13 people, but we do know uh, the people that, you know, what we have and he was convicted of the people that he did murder. So 
another question I wanted to ask was, will you guys feel the same about the food stands? Will you go to food stands anymore? You know, um, unfortunately, I'm out. I'm not doing no more food stands anymore. I don't eat pork anyway, so, but wow. The, you know, he said a lot of things that you just can't confirm. So we don't know what is true and what is not true. So, but I am glad that he is no longer on the streets. And we got some partial justice that he is gone. Yeah. So, you guys stay blessed and hug your family because you just never know. Hug your family. Get on them necks like them old people say. Hug them. Okay. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I cannot wait to read your comments. I, I'm just so excited to read your comments. So don't forget to drop your comments below.